In this video, we have a Windows 2008 server as it appears directly after we install it. And Windows 2008 server, unlike previous versions, doesn't give you an opportunity unless you use a configuration file to change the machine name. And so the first thing we want to do is change the machine name so that we can then start setting up our domain. And so we're going to click on Start, and then we're going to right-click on Computer, and go to Properties. And then in here, this will allow us to actually go through and uh, change the computer name, which is what we want to do um, when we're setting up a do new domain. So I'm going to go to Change Settings here, and uh, we're going to click Change here again. And you can see it comes up with Workgroup as a workgroup, but it arbitrarily picks a number here um, and win for a computer name. And this is not what we want. Uh, that'll be a pain to type in every time we want to access our server. So we want to change it to something that makes a little more sense. So we'll click on change here. And for our purposes, we're going to simply call it, actually, we'll call it demo server for now. Um, obviously, in your organization, you call it something different. It'll be an app server or exchange server or alpha or whatever you want to name it. But for our purposes right now, we're going to call it demo server. And while we're doing this step, we don't want to make any other changes. We're not going to join a domain. Um, we're going to leave it as work group until it reboots. So simply click on OK. Should give us a warning here saying that we need to apply these changes, and it does. Click on OK again. We'll click on close, and it's going to give us that same warning. And we'll go ahead and click on restart now. That'll restart the machine. It'll have the same username and password as it had before. Um, but the machine name will be changed now.